Hello anglers and anglerettes. Welcome to another edition of the G3 Sportsman. Okay, on this little adventure that we're going to be on, and it may, may very well be that, we'll try to do some catfishing. And I want to throw just a little bit of wrinkle in it. Uh, normally when you're thinking about catfish, especially blue cats or, or, uh, or even flatheads, you know, you've got to have some sort of bait, sometimes live bait, cut bait, whatever. But you better, in a lot of circumstances, know how to throw one of these cast nets. And there's a lot of people out there that either A, don't have the net, don't have the knowledge, can't throw one, can't find bait or whatever else. So it deters them maybe from actually going catfishing. Well, I've come up with a little plan and I know this is not original by no means. So what do I do to eliminate that problem that I have? I did what most of us would do. I went to the store and I got some bait. Well, this is just raw shrimp right here. I got it out of the frozen fish department over there, the frozen food department. And that's what I'm gonna to try today. You don't wanna miss this episode, come on. I've, d I've done crazy things in the past, but this may even be the craziest. So let's see if this works out. We're gonna head up to Truman Lake, one of my favorite spots to go catfishing. And let's see if I can put a few in the boat with not your traditional bait, but good old store-bought raw shrimp. Come on, you know you wanna see me fail. So come on, let's see if I do. What do you say? <laughs> come on, let's go. We are on the water, let me cut this off. We're on the water. You can see right here, the water's up over where we're at. And this is that creek channel right here. And these fish, from what I understand, are running this creek channel. So I'm gonna get up in here and I'm gonna tie off and we're gonna cast into this little channel right here, this little creek channel where these fish are just running in and out. And hopefully that's gonna be the be the ticket today. It's gonna to get hot. We're not gonna have a lot of wind. I'm not complaining yet, but I probably will be. But uh, we're in the little Gator Tough 18 again. I guess this is the only boat we're gonna ever use anymore. And uh, got four poles set out, so it should be fun. And hopefully we can get us a mess. And uh, I'll show you my rig here when we get set up. Catfish delicacy of the day is right here. Sea best raw shrimp. That's what I'm gonna go with. Can't throw a, th a cast net. Don't wanna mess with bait. Now you tell me that a catfish ain't gonna like that. Yeah, and Wes wanted to put scent on it. Smell that. I can smell it. Yeah, okay, see, that's, that's it. So let's see if this works. We'll put, let me put a couple on this one. He doesn't feel that big for the first fish. Not at all. No, he's a little big guy. Little big guy. First fish of the day. <laughs> but you know what? He's a fish and he's the right species. You hear him? about that <laughs> first fish of the day boy I'll tell you what if I was keeping some of these that sure would be a good eater okay buddy that's the first fish first fish and oh my gosh there's more those shad are jumping 
and what I said earlier that them shad are jumping. So let's get back out here. Let's see if I can get a get another fish here. I threw this one out. It wasn't out five minutes. GoPro, stop recording. And uh, it looks like they're running that that little bush line right there. So I'll get this out in here, and we'll see if we can't catch us nuts. But we got one in the boat. Let's hope that's one of many. Once they start hitting, I mean, you got to put your you got to put your head on a swivel. I'm not too sure about this one right here. This one's kind of. Uh huh. He was running to me. I was wondering why I was getting so much slack. I mean, I just put that one out, and now I got a channel cat. Caught a blue cat there, and now got brother channel. Just about the same size, too. Man. Get the hook out. Yeah, old channel cat on that one. <laughs> so there's blues and channels coming in here. About that. Hey, let's just put her out there. Let's see what happens. I knew I kept seeing the slack coming in that, and I thought, well, and then, boy, those shad are still jumping, so that means they are in the area. They are in the area. And they gonna want them some shrimps. They want some of that bubble gump shrimp for us. Get some of that shrimp Creole right there. I mean, that's Honey Hole Central right there. I know he's, he's feisty. He's at least feisty. Man, I'll tell you what, this is, I am in the, I'm in the channel cats here. Chunky little dude though. So that is two channel cats. And uh, one little blue, all of them about the same. But he liked the shrimp. Yeah, little channel cat. You can tell the channel cat. A little different color. You can see the little spots on them. So, here pretty soon, there's going to be one that's going to be decent that's going to run through here. We're going to get him. He wants back in. He is ready. I think it's another channel. It is. You could almost tell. That's a little blue. All right, rice species. Little guy. And you know, maybe this is what I'm in. Maybe this is just time of year, this size fish, schooling, coming in here. Still fun. Boy, I tell you what, that right there would make a catfish sandwich. What you talking about? It would, but I'm going to put him back before Wes wants to eat him. All right. <clears throat> so now we're two blues, two channels on the shrimp. No monsters, but we're having fun, catching some fish. It is hot, but we got a little breeze blowing. We wasn't supposed to have any wind, so this is our second or third spot that we've come off. Wes here in a minute, he'll show you what we're, what we're looking at. All this stuff right here is, is water's come over at this little point right here. So you've got this channel swing just running right through here, both sides. So we're casting 
towards those trees there, over here towards this point here, and then just out here on this little flat. So we're gonna keep doing it, keep plugging away and see if we can catch a few more. I mean, that's, that's fishing, you know how it goes, you know. Sometimes they run through, they knock them all down, and then sometimes you have to wait for 20, 30 minutes to get one, but we'll get in them. We'll get a mess. We're gonna make something out of this yet for all you shrimp fishermen now. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. Just threw that one out. Just threw that one out. Okay, he ain't much. Doesn't feel like he's very big. Still a fun fish to catch though. Oh, chunky little dude. Chunky little dude. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's it's still fun. Still fun. Man, I tell you what, my old wore out fingers can't hardly get that out. Look at that little turd. Just fun as he can be. Just fun as he can be. All right, I gotta throw back out there. We had saw, we had saw, what's some English? We saw some of them big gizzard shad just jumping out of the water. GoPro, stop recording. And so I threw that out over there. And so now I'm gonna put that one over closer to that side. And let's see, we saw them running right along that little tree line right there. Them gizzard shad just jumping out of the water. And so when they're doing that, they're running from those predators. And the ultimate predator here in this lake is these catfish. So I'm gonna get this and bait it back up. I'm gonna put it out there in the same hole. Let's see if we can get into something right here. These are from B&M, the Silver Elite. There's, uh, they're seven, six, a medium heavy. They've, they're good for about any size catfish you want to go after. The great big ones are what we've been after today, channel cats, flatheads, blues. And uh, the one reel that I really like, and I've had these for a while, these are on the 6500 series right here is this catfish, uh, catfish series right here from Abu Garcia. I've been an Abu Garcia guy forever on these round reels. And this is a good combination of there's various types of braided line that you can use or whatever. That's more of a Santee Cooper rig, you know, that I like to use with the float close to the team catfish hook to kind of keep the bait off and then the barrel swivel right here that with the uh, three ounces of weight. But these are great rods. I like these these rods, these these uh, silver silver cat elites from B&M, but that's the rods I like. I'm going with, I like the red. They're easy to see. I like the white tip. You can really show it when it bounces. And they're good all-around rods. I don't. I think you guys would really, really like these. They're available anywhere. Grizzly jig, uh, big big river cats. There at Grizzly Jig, they carry these, and they've got a bunch of them for everything catfish, as far as that goes. BigRiverCats.com. That's the place to shop right there. Think you'd like them? There you go. That's my setup. It's fun, you know. More fun than. Maybe he does, maybe he does, maybe. Is he running to me? Yup, he's running to me. Okay, come on. All right. Okay. All right, there we go. Hadn't got to use the net today, but uh, nonetheless, Another blue, this is another blue. So now we got the full house. 
three blues. Three blues. Jeff Williams always says, put your rod back in the holder. That way it's out of the way. <laughs> Look at him. Hear him? Wonder what they're saying right there. They're just in here. There's it's, This water right here is about six feet deep and they're just cruising through here, just eating. They're about ready to start spawning. And so some of the bigger females may be starting to spawn. So that may be why we're not getting into any of them, but it's a fun day still nonetheless. What else better to do on a summer day? Grab a bag of store-bought shrimp, come out and catch some catfish, huh? Come on, you know you want to. There he goes. Can't beat that with a stick, boys. It's fun times. And what about the little jet boat? The jet boat that could. We've been in the rivers, we've been everywhere. We have fished out of this thing. We've caught white bass, we've caught smallmouth, goggle eye, catfish. I mean, this is this is just a fishing boat right here. I mean, there is, there's nothing else I could say other than it is a fishing boat. We've hung some rod holders here. It's got a, it's got a slide track right here that you can hang rod holders on. We didn't have a long boat ride, you know. I mean, it's not gonna go 60 mile an hour or whatever. I mean, we're gonna putt around about 30. And, uh, but just as comfy as it can be, we can fish all around this boat and with this bench seat right here, I can just push this back, sit right here. I'm as comfy as in my living room. What are those? Carburettes. There we go. There we go. Did I miss that fish? No, I got it. Oh, he sure took it down. Hey. I thought for a minute I missed him. These crappie guys are just running all over the place. Listen to them, everywhere. And we're just as comfy as we can be. Sitting here just catching some kitty cats. Catching some kitty cats. All right, that's a little better one. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to net him. Help me out of there, Wes, pull that down. There you go, hang on. All right. All right, hang on. We'll get you. All right. We're in. Oh, okay. Get this rod out of the way this hook get this hook all right hook is out that's a little better fish a little better fish cruising over there every time i see those shad jumping these fish start start in and so there you go that gave me a fit boy he put that pole down that's the way they're supposed to hit like that that's the way they're supposed to hit gopro stop recording and i mean he hammered it now <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what, Dale. That spot over there, we have got to move. I mean, we have just got to move. Because that spot there has got some fish. It has got some fish in it now. That spot seems to be the hammer. Seems to be the hammer. There you go. Even got a little drone going here. Got some GoPro going, got the big camera going. All good, that's another fun little old fish to catch out here, man. Summertime blues, that's what we got. Summertime blues. How about that? Here, I mean, it's hot, now don't get me wrong. It's, 
it's hotter than blue blazes out here, but you know, the fishing can be good. It's, I think we're getting really close to the spawn. So, uh, you know, you know what it's like when the catfish start spawning, it gets a little tough. But um, follow the bait, man. This time of year, follow that bait. Look at those flats. A lot of times these fish will get on them flats like they're doing here. And uh, you can get into a good mess of fish. We didn't get into some great big ones or whatever today, but we caught some good little fighters. And if a man was wanting to eat some, we had some good, good size eating fish, some slot fish. And uh, it's just a fun time. And uh, I like coming over here to Truman. It's close and with $5 a gallon gasoline, it's a lot cheaper for me to come over here than it is to drive three or 400 miles and do the same thing that I would be doing here. So, hey, like, comment, share, hate us, do whatever you want to. Make sure that you follow us on all of our, on all of our social media pages and, and, uh, and just tell us what you think, you know. Tell us, tell us what we're doing right, tell us what we're doing wrong, what you might want to see in the future, and we'll be glad to accommodate the best we can. But for now, that's all the time we got. I am about to burn up. I'm ready to go get in the air, air condition, get a little something to eat. And just remember, keep what you can use, release the rest, and we'll see y'all out there somewhere next time, right here on the G3 Sports. Thanks so much for watching.